The Idaho State Bengals opened up conference play today when they took on Portland State University in Holt Arena this afternoon. And the cheer squad is ready. These two kids are ready. Now let's get to some football. First drive for the Bengals is a pretty good one as Michael Sanders connects with Hagen Graves for the first score of the game. The extra point would be good and the Bengals are up 7-0 with less than 10 minutes to go in the first quarter. Portland State, though, not going away quietly. Here's Zach Johnson with the kickoff. Number 41, Cahill Dawson is there to receive it, and he'll cut all the way to the outside and take this one to the house for a 94-yard touchdown return. The extra point would be good, and it's all knotted up at 7. The next possession for the Vikings, Alex Caruso launches this one into the air. Trent Riley with a nice basket catch. He takes it into the end zone with the extra kick. The Vikings are now up. 14 to 7, just seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Start of the second quarter now. Bengals down 17 to 7. Cruz hands it off to Paris Penn, who scampers 38 yards into the end zone. Give him six. The extra point would make it 24 to 7. That's 24 unanswered points that the Vikings put up. The Bengals, a rough day for Michael Sanders. Here he is throwing into coverage, trying to find Madison Mangum, and the pass gets picked off by Xavier Coleman with about eight minutes to go in the second quarter. The Bengals looking to make a comeback, though. About a minute before the halftime, Sanders fumbles the snap. He's able to pick it up, still gets the throw off to Josh Cook who kind of jukes the Vikings defenders. He'll make his way into the end zone. And it is 24 to 14 with the extra point. Third quarter we go. Here's a bright spot for the Bengals. Defense. Cruz's pass gets deflected. It lands into the arms of Kurt Karstetter. The Bengals would not score on the possession, though, and they would go on to lose this one 34 to 14. Here's what Bengals head coach Mike Kramer had to say after the game. Uh, you can't uh, bobble snaps. You can't throw the ball late. You can't uh, have the run of that go the wrong way. You can't uh, lose your left tackle early in the game. You can't lose your poise. It was a great opening drive, and after that, we should have gone outside and practiced. The left tackle that Coach Kramer was talking about was Terrence Carey, who returned to the game only to be taken back out. He was not in pads for the rest of the game. As far as the quarterbacks go, Coach Kramer said junior college transfer Michael Sanders only played a quarter and a half in the last game and that this can be considered his first game. Here's what Han Sanders had to say after the game. I mean, yeah, just from, I mean, that, that first drive showed what we're obviously capable of, but uh, we just can't, we just can't fall asleep like that. Um, from that point on, I mean, that's just not acceptable in this program, and we know that. And, uh, you know, we're just going to work harder this week to improve on it. The Bengals' next opponent will be even more challenging as they head to Boise State to play on the Smurf turf with kickoff slated for 7 p.m. on Friday. When asked if he, Coach Kramer was excited about going to Boise State and playing such tough competition right after this game, Coach Kramer said that he's never excited about going to play Boise State and that he hope, the, hopes the check doesn't bounce. Over to 